everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to another live stream Let's Play episode of Monster Hunter Stories. So, this is going to be a chill episode, guys. We've done a lot of storyline in the previous episode, so I've decided to kind of take a little bit of a step back and maybe just do some nice chill subquests off the quest boards and also revisit some of the older towns and cities and see if there are any quests available as well. Now, just for a little bit of a recap, I have done a little bit of stuff off camera. So, as you can see, I've got a new armor set here. And uh, I am actually showing the helmet because it makes me look freaking cute. It gives me ears and they're adorable. <laughs> but this is the Yayan Garuga armor set. So let me just show you what its skills are. So it's got poison rate plus medium. And it's also got negate poison as well. It gives me resistance to fire and a little bit of resistance to thunder. I've also upgraded my hero's sword, so at the moment this is at maximum. It can go higher than this, but I do need to complete the story before I can upgrade it past this point. And for accessories, I am just wearing this one, which reduces all elemental damage taken from enemies, so all elements basically, which is pretty darn good. Um, other than that, I've got a lot of eggs, guys, that can be named and claimed for stream legends of $10 or more. I've actually already had a off-stream legend. Everyone, hashtag Master Zero is awesome in the chat. Sending you some love, Master Zero. Master Zero has claimed my Zenogre egg. So the comment is, there is literally my name written on that Zenogre egg. <laughs> so Master Zero wants to name the Zenogre Zero. So we're going to go ahead and hatch that now. I don't think I can use that just yet. But we've also got some other eggs that can be named and claimed as well. Which I will just go through. We've got a regular Congolala. Obviously, I'm going to hatch the Zenogre now, which has already been claimed. We've got the Emerald Congolala. We've got the Black Gravios. And we've also got a Crimson Corapeco as well. So, obviously, I will save these eggs for this stream and see if anyone wants to name and claim on this episode. And uh, I might carry them over to the next stream as well if they don't get claimed on this one because um, I did get them off camera. Now, if you're wondering how I got these eggs, Basically, I will show you in a second where the location is because I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. So uh, we will go back there so that you guys can see. But I just used my Corapeco call and the paintball method. That's all I did to get those eggs. Zinogri has hatched. Wow, it's only got two lock slots. Oh, <gasps> wow. And we have another stream legend, Thomas. Thomas has named and claimed the Emerald Congolala. Everyone, hashtag Thomas is awesome in the chat. Hello, Kylie. Can you call the Emerald Congolala Mr. Stinky? Oh, yes. Yes, I can. <laughs> That's a really fitting name because it literally poops on you. <laughs> So yes, that's a really good name there, Thomas. Everyone hashtag Thomas is awesome in the chat. Right, so this one is going to be called Zero. I had a little bit of a typo there for a second. There we go. So this is an ogre is called Zero. And then we want the Emerald Congolala to be called Mr. Stinky. And there we go. Right, okay. So when it comes to like crap genes and stuff, if I ever get a better version of the same monster, obviously if it's already been named and claimed, I just rename it the same name again uh, so that it's fair. So Mr. Stinky. Yay, it fits! Awesome! Cool. Okay, so remember guys, we still have a Crimson Corapeco, a Black Gravios, and also a regular Congolala up for grabs of uh, $10 donations or more from Stream Legends. So let's go ahead and check out these monsties that I've just hatched. 
So I can actually use the Emerald Conga La La, but I won't be using it on this episode. I'll train it up off camera and then use it on the next episode so it can get some screen time. But uh, let's check out its genes. It has negate paralysis, negate stench, makes sense, <laughs> and uh, explosive gas. I think that's the move where it poos on you. <laughs> It fires out poop from its buttocks. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, uh, I can't use the Zenogre just yet, but I'm really happy with the amount of slots available on this monster. Um, I think it was a smelly, really heavy egg, so that's how I got this. So it's got Thunder Boost Medium, Extend Paralysis Large, and it has Thunder Supercharge. Ooh, okay. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to do some genes manipulation with this one ready for when it goes in my team. I imagine this is going to be my new Thunder Monsty. Now, I've had a couple of people in the comments section asking me about the Raffalos, Azure Raffalos, Legiacris and Ivory Legiacris. God, I got tongue-tied there. And I have had zero luck with those monsters, but... I have had a couple of tips in the comments section, so for Lagai and Ivory Lagai, I need to be further in the story, and for Raffalos and Azure Raffalos, I need to do the Raffalos subquest, and then it should start appearing in the wild Raffalos and also uh, via eggs and stuff like that, so we're going to go ahead and do that quest first. And as you can see, my current team is my dragon, Yayan Garuga, called Gawuga Wooga. <laughs> so yeah, I've actually manipulated the genes a little bit. I've put in another predatory medium, so now it has pretty high dragon attack. It has eight. So yeah, it's my dragon monster at the moment. I also have Elsie back in the team. I have Rafiki, who is my thunder. I have Rafa because I can't remove him, so I've got like double fire at the moment. I also have my Brute Tigrex, which is just no elements, and then I have Chris. Chris is actually my weakest monster in my team right now. Um, basically I want a Baryoff to be my new ice monster, so fingers crossed we can get that in a couple of episodes time because it will replace Chris and it will be awesome because I love Baryoff. <laughs> So yeah, um, anyways, let's go and check out the quest board and pick up this DLC quest, guys. Thank you so much for the sub lanes. I think that's how I say your name. I apologise if it isn't, but welcome to Team GGK. Okay, so Slayer Raffalos, and this is located in the Pondry Hills. The description is, Oh, Rider Emergency, a feline on a mission has run into a Raffalos. Please help that poor feline put an end to this chaos. So let's do this. And uh, we will go ahead and fast travel to Pondry Hills as well. But hang on a second, I might just pick up the other subquests while we're here because there's no point like traveling back in two. We can just do a load of them and go. Um, so we can do this Kukku one, which again is in Pondry Hills, so that's easy. Slay the Winged Terror. And the description is Responsible Rider. A rogue Yayan Kukku called the Winged Terror has been terrorizing the locals. It needs a stern seeing to. Would you mind helping out? That's fine. <laughs> Anguise says, now nah, you can get those Raffalos before doing the subquest. Yeah, but I tried. I farmed Golden Caves for hours last night. Both for Legiacris, Ivy Legiacris, and also for Raffalos and Azure Raffalos. I farmed Golden Caves for like two hours using two tickets, and I still could not get a Raffalos or I Azure Raffalos, so... <laughs> Yeah, either I have the worst luck ever, or they just don't appear yet, so I'm gonna wait, to be honest, and I'm just gonna do this subquest, and I'm gonna take, um, I think it was Drew's advice in the comments section, and I'm gonna do this subquest and see if it helps in making Raffalos appear, so <laughs> there's no harm in doing it, especially after I've spent hours trying to get Raffalos and Azure Raffalos with no dice. So we've got this one as well, which is a Nasilla. So that's in Monson Plains. 
So, uh, foreign spy, ah, the secret sign you'll assist in the hunt for this terrifying foe. Even I have caught only a trace of its shadow. Perhaps you can find the unseen menace. So let's accept that as well. Uh, hang on a second. Thomas is saying, Kylie, have you done Captain Simone's quest? Nope, not yet. Remind me in the stream and we will go to Captain Simone and do some of her quests as well. Get those out the way. What's this one? This is a Baroff, Slayer Baroff. So some of these are actually giving us outfits for Navi as well, which is awesome. I'm up for seeing Navi in uh, multiple outfits. <laughs> lively school child. Ahaha, mud, lovely mud. Mud, lovely mud. <laughs> Come and play in the mud, huh? What's that? Ah, ah, a monster, a muddy monster, help. We'll accept this as well. We'll just do all of these guys and get them out of the way. I think that's going to be fun. And what's this one? This is a Tigrex. That's easily done as well. Suspicious Grandma. Aren't all grandmas suspicious? You never know what they're up to. My, my grandma was quite devious. <laughs> she was a little bit naughty. <laughs> oh, what big muscles you have. I do like them strong. <laughs> so there's a very roary Tigrex out in the snowfields keeping me up at night. Slay it for Granny. I'll do anything for granny. <laughs> Lane says, I'm new to the game. Where can I get a Kurapeko? You can get it when you first get to Gildagaran. You can get it in the areas around Gildagaran um, from the nests. So yeah. Right, okay. So Pondry Hills is for the Raffalo. So we're going to go ahead and do that first, guys. Actually, I can just run out, can't I, thinking about it. Um, Pondy Hills Crossroads. Let's head there and then just see what the closest one is. Many names. Many names, many faces. <laughs> Says, a stream while I'm in school. I can always count on that from Kylie. I'm sorry. Time difference sucks. Oh, by the way, guys, like, somebody in the comment section on the last stream was saying, oh, it annoys me that Raffalos is the, is the only monster that you can fly with. No, you can fly with Yangaruga. And I've very much been enjoying flying with my Yangaruga. And also, I actually took this Yangaruga online, and uh, I did pretty good, guys. I managed to beat a hunter that was using a Zinogre, a Sand Barioff, and also a Karin as well. And my Gwooga Wooga did really, really well. I defeated that hunter three times. So I was actually surprised. So I'm rather happy with the current build of my Gwooga Wooga right now. Oh! Angui says you can fly on a Baryoff too. Oh, that makes me so happy. I love Baryoff. Baryoff is definitely going to be my new ice monster. I didn't pay attention to... Um... Yeah, when I did that unboxing video yesterday, guys, if you haven't seen it, I did an unboxing video of Monster Hunter Swag. I unboxed some charms. I unboxed a plushie. And uh, I also unboxed the Navi Amiibo, which was the only Amiibo that I was missing. And uh, yeah, like, I accidentally called Baryoff Baroff. <laughs> it's easily done, though. Easily done. Okay, so I think I... I don't know, I think I'm going to stick with my Gawooga Wooga for this fight. I still need to get in a proper poison move on Gawooga Wooga at the moment. Because um, the moves that it has have a very low chance to poison right now, which isn't good enough in my opinion. I want a higher chance to poison. Come 
come on, Gawooga Wooga! It took a, a, a fair amount of practice to get that name right, by the way. <laughs> not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Thank you all so much for the likes so far, guys. That is absolutely amazing. We are so close to the first 100 like goal. Can we do it live on this stream? I think we can. Here we go, finger action time. I suck at this one on PvP. I usually lose. <laughs> I can win against the PC, or should I shouldn't really say the PC, but you know, the AI, I guess. Yay, poisoned! Now I can use Poison Chaser, which deals more damage when the enemy is poisoned. And I'm gonna go ahead and use Cheer to give that a buff. Victory! To be fair, this is quite a low rank quest. <laughs> I've just not done any sub-quests in quite a while on this game, so I thought it would be nice to just do them. Thomas says, Gene manipulation is really tedious. I have been grinding to make an ice-type raffian. Yeah, I know. Like, the problem is, I suppose it would have been too easy if you could move a gene from any slot on one monster to any slot on the other monster. So, like, you can only, for example, move a gene from the top right on a monster to the top right on the other monster. So, it's such a pain, like, grinding eggs to try and get the gene in the slot that you want to move over. Oh, trust me, I spent hours the other night trying to get a dragon move in a certain slot so that I could slot it into my Brute Tigrex. Because the original plan was to change my Brute Tigrex into a dragon type, but... Honestly, after hours of grinding, I was just like, I give up. And it was so much easier to just change my Yangaruga into a dragon type in the end. So that's what I went with. <laughs> I was just like, I've lost the will to live here. I am just going to uh, change my Yangaruga into a dragon and give up on my brute Tigrex. Hey, Best Kornoichi! Good to see you back in the chat. Thank you so much for joining. I haven't even... Um, can I make gems at the moment? I don't think I can, can I? At this point in the story. I don't remember being told I can. I didn't bother searching the nest. I probably should have done. I'll do it on the next one. Actually, I will get the egg guide up though. Because I haven't done that yet. My egg guide is now up. Alright, so Angui says you should have been grabbing recipes from the red chests in the field and you probably have a few. They are at the bottom of the combine list. Okay, hang on a second. Let's have a look. Oh. A channeling gem with no type and non-element power grants health medium. And then we've got defense, attack... Oh, sweet. Okay, so I actually have quite a few then. Quite a few mediums as well. We've got speed medium, um, 
speed resistance as well. Sweet. Okay, so I do have quite a few at the moment, which is good. Okay, cool. Well, regardless, I'm mainly at the moment looking for uh, thunder and also dragon. Elaine says it's really sad that uh, Raffian can't fly. I suppose at the end of the day they've got to give them a certain amount of skills. They can't just have every skill <laughs> available. Here we go, this is a Raffalos. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and switch over to Rafiki. Actually, no, I'll stick with Gawooga Wooga. See how Gawooga Wooga does. <laughs> Don't fail me now, Gawooga Wooga! Right, okay. Get Rexer! Because remember guys, I need to name my Raffalos Guardian after one of my massive Patreon supporters. But I kind of want that to be a Azure Raffalos now. Or maybe even a silver, but I'm guessing I can't get silver till after the story, so I'll have to make do with a Azure. See, at the moment, Poison Tail only has a low chance to poison. And then Poison Spit is also a low chance to poison as well. So I want to put on a better poison move on my Yangaruga. Because they're just too low. And then I can combo it with my Poison Chaser move. Savage Fireball. Damn. Quite a bit of damage, actually. Still not poisoned. Shame. Okay, um... I don't think it's low on health at the moment, so... I'll heal in a second after this attack. Anguissa Silver is super post game. Oh, I'll have to be patient. Patience is something I do not have. <laughs> you guys know this. Oh, five HP left. Oh, air showdown. Get ready. Get out of the sky! Who's king of the skies now? The Shaxon says, doesn't Raffalos have poison immunity? Not all of them. Not all of them have poison immunity. As far as I know. <laughs> Best Kanoichi says, having patience is so difficult. <laughs> You know me. You know me. <laughs> rank two. If we can get it to the third rank, that'll be nice. Here we go, third rank. Get ready. And don't forget, this is Dragon Element because it is changed to dragon one thousand 
1,167 damage, and with that, get wrecked. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. And we got a Rathlos plate, nice. Aw oh, yeah. Renoa says this attack looks awesome. It looks even more awesome because it's Dragon Element now. So it's kind of like purple and red colours added to it. Jackson says that move is wrongly named though. That's not a barrel roll, but a Aleron roll? Do you mean a air roll? I don't know. I don't know what that word is. I've never seen it before in my life. <laughs> right, egg guide. Here we go. Let's see. Oh god, that is a really shit egg. That's an apt enough. That is a Velocidrome. That's a Apsinoff. Oh, hang on a second. We have had a another stream. Legend Thomas, you are doing naming and claiming a lot at the moment. Thank you so much for that. Everyone, hashtag Thomas is awesome in the chat. It threw me off for a second there because it was the same name on the stream graphics. But anyways, can you call the Crimson Kurapako Samba? I sure can. You have named and claimed. We will definitely call it Samba. But everyone, hashtag Thomas is awesome in the chat. Sending you some love, Thomas. Thank you for being such a huge supporter of my channel. That's greatly appreciated. We will get on that when we get back to town. Right, I don't know what this one is, actually. It's, oh, it's an Azoros. See, I've forgotten all the older eggs. <laughs> it's been forever since we've been to this area, so I've forgotten what they look like. Mega Firefox says, are you having a excellent day, Kylie? I sure am. Things are definitely sunny side up. <laughs> what eggs still haven't been claimed? Um, a black Gravios and also a regular Kongalala at the moment. Flying is definitely so much faster. And Jackson says, by the way, have you decided if you will continue Dragon's Dogma yet? I would like to do another stream and see how it goes. But um, with my schedule being so up in the air at the moment, I don't know when that would be. I would like it to be tomorrow, but I don't know if I'm going to be streaming tomorrow just yet. There's a poogie there, by the way. But I've got to use that, like, dig ability to get there. In fact, do any of my monsters have that currently? I don't think so. Um, I know that I do have a monster that does have it, so I'll have to remember that and come back. Oops. No, you can't fly there. It kind of forces you up so you can't land on that ledge because there's like a higher part to the cliff and then there's like a lower part that sticks out. But every time I try to fly to the lower part that sticks out, it just forces me up and I can only land on the top. Um, so yeah, I can't fly there. New outfit for Navi! That gives quite a lot of money actually, like 3,200 to defeat a Raffalos, that's a lot. Glenn says, GGK, you are awesome. Thank you, Glenn. <laughs> that's so nice of you. 
greatly appreciated. Right, so where's this one? This one is in Monsoon Plains. That's in the deserts. That's in Dodge Snowfields. So I guess the plains is the next place we need to go. But first of all, let's go ahead and hatch that egg that Thomas named and claimed. So this is the Crimson Corapaco, so let's go ahead and hatch it. Oh, Mike says you can actually fly there, just get really close and then press the landing button and you should be able to get on the ledge. So it's just about positioning myself correctly then to get on that ledge. Cool, thank you so much Mike, that's awesome. Considering this was a heavy stinky egg, mind you it's only three lock slots, that's not too bad. Samba! Thomas, your baby is born! Let's make sure I'm spelling it correctly. Yeah. Samba! Right, so we've still got the Black Gravios, the... That's a crappy egg there. That's the new one, we'll hatch it, no one wants this. <laughs> That's the Zoros, we'll just hatch it. Might use it for jeans, I might just get rid of it, I don't know. And then we've got a regular Congolala as well. So they're the two remaining monsties that are available to name and claim, guys. Uh, let's go and check out Samba and see what moves it's got. Again, I will level this up and show it off in the next episode. Weakening Song, which is pretty good. We've got Blind Rate plus a Medium. We've got Tech Resistance Large. Ooh, that's nice. Um, we've also got Tech Resistance Medium as well. And Blind Rate Medium. The thing is, though, because it's, it's a tech monster, I kind of feel like Tech Resistance is a waste on it because they're not going to be using really tech on it, you know? Like, it's power, tech, speed, power. So really... It needs like power resistance if it's gonna have a resistance to a type of attack. Um, so yeah, it's a thunder element, which is nice. So I'm guessing regular Korapeko is the healer and kind of like attack and defense buffer, whereas the Crimson Korapeko is someone that weakens the enemy. Then that's the assumption I'm going with there. Uh, Mega Firefox says, I called mine Quackers. I like that. <laughs> That's awesome. Hello, Brittany the Hedge. Hedge, or 100. I almost said Hedgehog. <laughs> Thank you so much. Cool, you like video. Thank you. Thank you for coming to the stream. Okie dokie, let's go. So, where are we going again? I got sidetracked sidetracked by how beautiful Samba is. Oh, hello! We have a new stream legend! Everyone, hashtag best Konoichi is awesome in the chat. Sending you some love, best Konoichi! You guys are on fire today with this donation support. So, hi Kylie, you are awesome! Thank you! So are you! Since it hasn't been claimed yet, let's do Tarzan for Kongalala. Very nice! Let's go and name that now then. But everyone, hashtag best Knoichi is awesome in the chats. Kongalala has now been claimed. So that means I've got a third monster to train up and show off in the next episode. Which is freaking cool. Tarzan! Now we just need a monster to be called Jane. <laughs> Mega Firefox says, did you know, Kylie, that you can use a Kurapako of any type to call monsters? I've literally done a tutorial video about that very method. So yes, I'm I'm quite aware. <laughs> so I'll probably get a better Kongalala than this one um, and just name it Tarzan again. Tarzan. I have spelt that right, haven't I? Yes. Not the best at spelling, guys. <laughs> In case you're wondering. Oh, hang on a second. We need to check out what moves it has as well. Um, manage monsters, change party. And 
stench, negate stench and foul gas. So yeah, I will definitely get a better conga lala and probably train that one up to be honest because this one's got a lot of lock slots. So yeah, I'll probably get a better version and just call it Tarzan again. But it's helpful for me to name and claim there and then so that I know that they have already been claimed and named. If that makes sense. <laughs> it made sense in my head before I said it. Anyway. Yeah, so this is Monson Plains now. the seashore take it from there Jason says waking up to a stream is distracting me from boring clash awesome <laughs> that's good don't get into trouble though okay <laughs> there's quite a few different sub quests uh, appearing on this map guys so we may as well just do them all since we're here get them all out of the way Let's go to this one first. So the silver caves are the subquest guys and any subquest caves are marked on the minimap with the blue markers. I wish it kind of told me which subquest it was though before I enter. <laughs> Mega Firefox says by the way I named my Kongalala Fart Bag. <laughs> That's a very distinguished name you've chosen there. <laughs> I'm sure all the other monsters will be jealous. Thank you, Ashaxon. I always forget to drink. So close to 100 likes guys, can we get a like surge? Every single like matters, every single like shows me you support the series, you love what you see and you want more guys. Let's smash that first like goal together. I think I'm going to go ahead and switch over to Rafiki. And let's do... Let's try raw, but usually it fails. And I think it's attack attacker, isn't it? I can't remember. It's been a while since I've uh, gone against a Nisilla. So this says, can you play Splatoon 2? Nope, because Nintendo hates YouTubers. I do not cover Nintendo first party games on my channel whatsoever. They don't support YouTubers, so I don't support them. Simple as that. Oh no, Rafiki's sleeping on the job! Wakey, wakey! <laughs> God dang it. Okay, I have... Let's use Flash! Ah! Get blinded! Yeah! Oh, it still hit! It didn't do that much damage, actually. Right, so I was right in guessing it is Attack Attacker then. Memory! Memory's done me well for once! <laughs> Now it's gone to power. But I only took four damage and it took 122, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna grumble about that. Right, let's go ahead and use the Thunder Breath attack. Feel it! 
Oh yeah, 670 damage though, guys. Another sub-quest complete. And this is going to give us quite a lot of money as well. And I don't say no to money in this game because I feel like I'm constantly skint. <laughs> Victor says you can inflict a blind in this game. Yes, you can. I'm not even gonna bother searching the nests at the moment, guys, because I feel like any nest from a subquest is shit. <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave it. If we see a golden nest, I'll go in, but I'm not searching these ones at the moment. Shaxton says, I don't get why the opposing monsters are so much bigger than the trained ones. I have a theory. I've spoken about this in my Let's Play before. Basically, the way I see it is that in zoos and stuff, um, some animals, for example... Oh, that, speaking of a rare den, there's a rare den right there, guys. We'll go in that. Um, big cats like lions and tigers, they're actually smaller in captivity um versus the wild so the way i see it is that because your monsties are in captivity technically because you're training them up and living with them um that's why they're smaller but somebody else said that they think it's because they're babies but i don't really agree with that because otherwise if it was because they're babies they would get bigger over time as they get older um after you've like leveled them up maybe they would get bigger and bigger as you level them up like for example level 30 they get a bit bigger level 50 they get a bit bigger but that's not the case so my theory is that because they are technically in captivity monsters and that's why they're smaller and we have another stream legend everyone hashtag greenfire is awesome in the chat Sending you some love, Greenfire. That is greatly appreciated. GGK, could you... Could I claim a monster? Mega sorry if it's a spoiler monster. Um, you can't claim a head, Greenfire. I've said this. I'm sorry, but you cannot claim that monster. You're claiming an endgame monster. You can only claim when I get the egg and when I say it's available. So you cannot claim in advance. I'm sorry, but you cannot claim that monster. The monster uh, Greenfire is trying to claim is the monster in the center of the bottom strip of my artwork and it's an endgame final boss monster so that's not fair. We're not allowing claiming in advance, it's not fair, sorry. But everyone still hashtag Greenfire is awesome in the chat. Otherwise we'd just get people coming along to the streams and claiming like you know, at the beginning of the game, monsters that are like missions away, and I don't think that's fair, really. So that's why I have that rule. Greenfire says, sorry I forgot, no worries. Uh, we still have the Black Gravios, so if you want to name that instead, let me know what you want to call it in the chat, and uh, we can just change it to that, so that you've still named something. I'll type it in the chat, actually. Just so that you've still claimed something. Plus that monster would be more expensive anyway because it's an elder dragon. Right, let's dismount and look for some eggs guys. I'll take Gravio GGK. Let me know what you want to call it in the comments. Hopefully it's not a really, um, really hard name for me to remember. <laughs> for, or for me to spell. Get a whiff of this one. It's smelly for sure. It's also quite heavy. I think this is a... 
Shrouded Nisilla, isn't it? Yeah, this is a Shrouded Nisilla. It's smelly and it's quite heavy, but I think we can do better than that. Come on. Uh, that is a Baroff, I think? Hang on. I can't even find this one. I'm sure it's a Baroff. Yeah, it's a Baroff, I was right. Has Greenfire said what they want to name the Black Ravios yet? And we did it guys! A hundred like hype! Whoop whoop whoop! Team GGK is awesome! Sending you some love guys! Feel it! Take it in! Thank you so much! Every single like really does matter and it really does support my streams guys. That is greatly appreciated. Everyone hashtag a hundred like hype in the chat! We're going to go ahead and change it to the next like goal now, which is 120, as always. Let's keep that support going, guys. We can do it. We can do it if we really want. And this one is a... A... <laughs> a black Gravios. And that is another monster that I don't even care about. <laughs> oh! Oh! Hang on! Blue! No, that's a black... Ah, oh, that's a black Diablos. Zenar Grey has appeared! Oh. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Zinar Grey is here. Okay. I think we'll fight it. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. We'll just attack normally for now and kill those, um, great thunderbugs. Oh my god, I need to copy and paste that name. Right, okay. Thank you, Greenfire. I'm just going to create a note. Right, I've created a note and I've got it named on the screen so that I can uh, type it in in a bit. <laughs> Don't worry, I've got it saved. I can name it that. No worries. Thank you so much, Greenfire. That is... I'm glad that I got Notepad off and copied that name because I would not know how to spell that otherwise. <laughs> Miss Jackson says, and I quote, sending you some love guys, take it in. Kylie, are you trying to make us fat with love so you can kill us and harvest it later so you don't lose your magical girl powers? Shh, Miss Jackson, you're not supposed to reveal my secrets. <laughs> right, I think it's a power type is it? I can't remember. No, it's not, is it? Oh well. I got a combo. That's that's good. Oh! Actually, didn't take as much damage as I was expecting, to be honest. Pleasantly surprised, guys. Gawooga wooga! Doing me strong! Doing me proud. Yes! Poisoned! I can use Poison Chaser now. Poison Chaser and then let's buff it with a cheer. Norma says, Kylie, what kind of monster are you looking for? I would like a Raffalos or a Zure Raffalos. <laughs> Apparently I can get them um, not in this area actually, but I'm not even looking for an egg right now. We just came into it because it was a rare den. 
If it was as an Obray egg, I would have picked it up because then I could have used it to carry some genes over to the one that I just hatched before. Uh, but it wasn't, so... Not really happy with the egg we actually got. Thank you for the sub, Jason! Welcome to Team GGK! Hey, Mara says, Gawooga Wooga is doing you proud! Sure is. Sure is. Right. Deals non-elemental damage to a single enemy. The lower the target's HP, the higher the damage. Um, let's see. I, I'm not sure, though. Two hundred and ninety-five. That's not too bad. Could have been better, but just wanted to test it because I've not really tested it before. Right, let's do a pure overkill epic finish right now. Because <laughs> why not? We might be able to get a Xenograte egg after this fight, guys. We'll continue to search the nest. Awesome. That was epic. That was so goddamn epic. <laughs> Is there any more eggs or... No! It must have been... Because if the monster runs into you right as you pick up the egg, it actually resets the nest so you can continue to search the nest again. So it must have been a little bit too soon or too late. Um, so we're gonna have to take this egg, which I think, I think this is a Koropeko egg, I think. I haven't checked. Don't really care though. <laughs> um. Let's go to the next den. Subquest den for the win. There it is. And don't worry, Greenfire, I haven't forgotten. I've got it in the notepad, so I will name your monster when we go back to town. So don't you worry. That means all of the current eggs have been named and claimed, guys. Until we get something new. Which I very much doubt on this episode. <laughs> but I could be wrong. Yeah, I think the egg nest is this way. Oh, it's a dead end. I can be wrong sometimes. Not often, but sometimes. <laughs> that was so close, I almost ran into him then. I almost ganked him, took him by surprise. GG Music says, I didn't know Yain Garuga had a flight skill. It does! It's awesome! And Taro Kami says, did you get the Emerald Kongalala yet? I did, and it's already been named and claimed. Hiya. Oh, yeah. How you doing? Crimson Korobako. The performer. Ready to perform for us? I hope so.
Renoma says the last egg you got was likely a Gendrome. That's actually fine because I need some Gendromes uh, to farm the Paralysis Fang move. So that's okay, actually. Quite happy with that. <laughs> Wasn't really looking for anything in particular and uh, got a monster that's going to be useful. Norma says, kindly, what do you think of the Yain Garuga armor? I love it! It makes me look adorable! It gives me ears. This is why I love it. damage. Get wrecked, son. Now on the ground. Now is the time to use Kenshi. Staggered means more damage. Juju Music says, look at those bat ears. I know, they're so cute, right? I feel like Kawooga Wooga is the star of the show this episode. Dragon Shagger, Shadow, welcome to the stream. Thomas says, I want to attempt the hair tournament in Monster Hunter Stories and get the Naga Kuga hairstyle. I still need to go back and do those tournaments, actually. There's probably a couple of them that I could do now, to be honest. Right, it's almost dead, so I'm going to use Finishing Blow and I'm going to do Cheer on it as well. Nice. Renoa says, speaking of hair, I'm going to be dyeing my hair blue next week. Ooh, I loved it when I had a blue flash back in the day. I really need to get my hair cut and dyed soon. My roots are so bad now. Can't wait to dye it again. Probably dye it within the next week or so or something. And I could do with going and getting it caught as well because my hair is really, really thick and it starts to get all clumpy and knotty and horrible. So I really could do with getting it caught and uh, shortened and also thinned, to be honest. Uh, Bob the Almighty says, how many hours have you put into the game so far? I can't remember. <laughs> a lot. Almost like a hundred hours. And I've not even done the story. But bear in mind, being a streamer adds so much more time onto completing a game. Because obviously, I'm enjoying my playthrough. I'm interacting with people. I'm stopping and answering questions. I'm doing subquests. You know, I'm doing all sorts of things on my streams that um, I may not necessarily do on my general playthrough if I was doing it off camera so it does add a lot more time on usually playing through a game when streaming. That's not a complaint because I am very much enjoying this game and I'm just very very grateful for all you guys supporting this series as well so thank you so much for joining in on these streams. Having an excellent time I'm so glad that Monster Hunter is uh, making a comeback on the channel because I am a massive, massive fan. Jackson says, how exactly do you thin your hair? How does that work? Hairdressers have like special scissors that they use and it kind of like, I don't know how to explain it, but it thins the hair, honestly, like, You'd have to ask a hairdresser. <laughs> I am not a hairdresser, but um, they're a special type of scissors and they kind of like, 
cut midway into the hair and like just do that like in the hair and it just like strips off hair i don't know i don't get the technical side of it i just know that it really lifts so much weight out of my hair because my hair is just so thick could probably ask my auntie she used to be a hairdresser Right, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and let's change because I feel like Wooga Wooga's had a lot of screen time at the moment. So let's go ahead and put Elsie back in the team. Coming out as first, let's do it. And uh, also I'm gonna match my armor to Elsie as well because yes, because OCD, I like to match. What can I say? Fight me! Beza says, I finally get to play this game now that I'm finished with midterms. Have a great time. It's honestly a fantastic game. And congratulations on finishing your midterms as well. Now, I'm trying to remember what a Emerald Congolala is. Is it tech, I think? Oh, I guessed right. Doesn't mean it's tech though. <laughs> Just because that's the first attack it does. Famous says, Elsie, we all love Elsie. It's been so long since I've used Elsie. I missed her. I missed her so much. Beza says that armor looks cool. It's one of my favorite armors so far that I own actually. 350 damage. Probably immune to poison, I think. Huh? Everyone hashtag Elsie hype in the chat. <laughs> Shaxon and Thomas has already started that hype train right now. Thirty-six damage. Thank you for the sub, Anthony. Welcome to Team GGK. GG Music says, "I wish you could use lances in this game. I wish you could use bow and arrow." Because you've got what sword and shield, great sword hammer and also the hunting horn um so they could have done the bow gun and the bow as well that would have been nice Gudra, hello Kylie, it's been a while since I caught one of your live streams. Nice to be back. Welcome back, Gummy Gudra. Thank you so much for coming along. Actually, it does. Uh, hang on a second. Okay. I just wanted to see if she had a move that did high damage when uh, the enemy is burned, but she doesn't. That's fine. And poisoned as well. Oh my god. Andre says, I've never played a Monster Hunter game before and I'm loving this one. It's a really good introduction to the series, to be honest. Hello, Soul, Soul Forsaken. Reminding me of Disturbed. <laughs> I was listening to some Disturbed this morning, actually, when I was getting ready.
Zero damage because it did that move. Um, I'm going to have to be careful because if it does it again, I'm not doing kinship. There we go. Kinship is at the third rank. Right. Third rank kinship from Elsie. Let's see that damage though. Famer says belly block. It can block attacks with its belly. Does it have an iron gut? Apparently so. Its belly just takes in all the damage. <laughs> One thousand one hundred and twenty-nine victory, Elsie for the win. She barely took any damage. She is so awesome. My favorite monster that I have is definitely Elsie. Hello, Crazy Bean. Good to see you back in the chat again. Thank you so much for coming to the stream. And don't forget guys, we are really, really close to the second light goal, which is 120. So click that thumbs up button, it really does support the streams. Shows me you're having a good time and obviously shows me that you want more. And the support for this series has been so, so fantastic guys. I cannot stress this enough, so thank you for sharing this Monster Hunter Stories journey with me because I'm just having the best time on this game. I think I would even go as far as to say that this is probably one of my most favourite Let's Plays on my channel ever. And definitely like my most favourite Nintendo 3DS game now. So thank you so much for making this playthrough like super super special. Right, I think that's all of them now. So hang on a second. I've got to go and name this uh, Black Gravios for Green Fire before I forget. Paymara says Elsie's kinship is just so great. The colour contrast, the particle effects are top notch, the animations are crisp too. As a designer, looking at the design, I love it. Oh yeah, thank you Thomas for reminding me. Don't forget Captain Simone's subquest either. Yes, 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 thank you. We shall go and do that. Is that at the docks, is it? I'm trying to remember where she's located. Uh, I can't recall. Hopefully this fits. Ooh, only two slots locked. Oh my god, this Black Kravios is pretty powerful. And it's got quite a lot of skills already gened in as well. Oh, I'm happy with this one. I think this is one of the best eggs that I found though because it was like really stinky and really heavy is what Navi said. Right, so let me get this spelling correct for green fire. So Tran, yeah, and then H-A-E-A-R, Tran, H-A-E-A-R-N, that's right, isn't it? Tran, no TV, you cannot go on to standby. I have to figure out how to turn off that sleep timer, to be honest. It's a real pain. Yeah, I've spelled it right. Yay, it fits! Awesome. I wasn't sure, actually. I bet you that's like maximum characters, though.
Greenfire says Poogie right next to you, GGK. Yeah, it's always there near my house. Um, it's one that I can just interact with and it tells me how many Poogies I've found. In fact, I'll do that in a second, guys, so you guys can see just how many I've actually located. Because I've not done that in quite some time now. Okay, so let's check out that black Gravios and see its genes. Oh, it's rarity 6. I can't use it. I can train it up though. Charge spread beam. What? What? Is that a higher... A higher version than regular charge, uh, charge beam? <laughs> spread beam even. Negate burn. Iron wall large. Ice resistance medium. Fire resistance medium and heat resistance. Uh, to be honest, most of those are pretty crap. I'm liking this charged spread beam though. I, I want, kind of want to look at that. Um, deals fire damage to all enemies, ignores defenses, charges power and chance to cause burn. So it's a better version than the regular spread beam then. Hang on a second. Um, yeah, because this is just spreading beam. It deals fire damage to all enemies, ignores defences, has a chance to hit and cause burn. So, is it just more powerful? I'm guessing. Deals fire damage to all enemies, ignores defences, charges power and chance to cause burn. So maybe it gives you like an attack up buff as well after using it, I don't know. Because the only thing that's different in that description is charges power. Anthony says charge spread beam isn't that great. Is it not as good as regular spreading beam? Because I love that move. I don't know what the difference is. I guess I'll have to try it in battle and see what happens. But the, the only thing that's different is charges power, so I'm assuming you get an attack buff or maybe it charges up one move and then fires on the next move, I don't know. Right, let's go over to the quest board. One like away from 120 guys, the second like goal, can we get a like surge? Every single like matters, every single like helps. Best Kanoichi says that Gravios is really good. It's good in terms of slots, um, but I think most of its moves aren't that great. Right, so for these two I need to go to the desert and also the snow fields, but somebody in the chat, in fact it was Thomas, was saying that I should do Simone's quest. Where do I find Simone, guys? Is she at the docks? I'm not going to use the prayer pot mic. I only use it when I'm doing off-camera grinding. I don't use it during my playthrough. 120 like hype, guys! Whoop, whoop, whoop! Team GGK is awesome! Thank you so much for that support, guys. That is greatly appreciated. It really, really does help out my streams. So don't forget to click the thumbs up button. You're already doing it, but don't forget to hashtag 120 like hype in the chat. Let's go ahead and change it to the next light goal, which is 150. We're on a roll, guys. We can do it. We can do it if we really want. She's in the guild hall. Okay. All right, let's go to the guild hall then. Do I remember how to get there? Yes, I do. It is this way, through the archway. <laughs> Victor says give Gravios all the beam attacks. Laser Gravios. I'm a fire and my laser. <laughs> Beams coming out the wazoo. Here we go. 
Where is she? Uh, she's not here? She's not here, guys. Is that because of the point, point of the story I'm at? Because right now, story-wise, I'm up to this bit and she's kind of, she's, she, I think she was at that area, wasn't she? So I guess I can't do any quests from her until I've done this part of the story. So yeah, I don't think I can do that yet, guys. So it looks like we're back to doing the other subquests at the moment. We'll have to do Simone later. Haha, <laughs> in more ways than one. Yeah, we're not doing story on this episode though, guys. We're just doing subquests at the moment. So, uh, we've got one in the desert, haven't we? Oh, damn it. I could have turned in some quests at the guild. Forge your duck. What? Slay five great thunderbugs. Quest board. I can turn that one in apparently. I just saw Devil Joe in the description and I was like, what? You want me? Dragon Shadow says, do you have a Naga Cougar or a Raphalos? Please use one of them if you do. I have the storyline Raphalos and I have a green Naga Cougar, but I cannot use the Naga Cougar yet because my kinship isn't high enough. Which has just reminded me I need to check Expedition. Dylan Kalp says, I made it to the live stream, but I cannot stay too long. No worries, buddy. Thank you so much for tuning in, though. It is greatly appreciated. Success! See, I'm currently leveling up my DLC Brachydeos, which is the Thunder Brachydeos, and uh, Surge. I don't even care about not getting bonuses, I'm just just sending them out as much as possible, doing some off-screen grinding. I'm also leveling up my DLC Lagai Crest as well, which is fire. Right, let's go ahead and teleport, or fast travel, I always say teleport, it's fast travel, to the desert. So not Alborax entrance. Actually, we'll just go to Alborax and then come out of Alborax, basically. Ah, oh, damn it. Faymera says, I'm curious about how many poogies you found. We'll go and check now, actually. Thank you for the sub quick play. Welcome to Team GGK. That actually rhymed. <laughs> I don't rhyme all the time, though. Don't worry. <laughs> Right, so let's talk to the poogie and see how many poogies I've got because I have actually picked some up off camera. Oink oink. Victor says, I love how your black Diablos is called Hades. Fits perfectly. It was named and claimed. I can't actually remember who named it now, but um, it's a fire black Diablos, so it's not all black anymore. It's got red horns. So not only is it death, but it's also fire. Death and fire called Hades. <laughs> Right, we got a buying charm. So I have found 44 out of 100, so not that impressive really. <laughs> 
Anime Fox says, Hey GGK, what have I missed? Also, this music sounds like Castletown from The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. You haven't missed much. This has been a pretty chill stream. We've been doing some side quests and we've not done any story on this episode. So yeah. I can change the outfit of my Poogie. Let's just go through them all a little bit. Um, I really need to get a Poogie plush because I don't own one yet. That's quite shameful considering I'm a fan of Monster Hunter and I don't have a Poogie plush. Shameful display, Kylie. Absolutely shambolic. We're getting a lot of bacon action right now, guys. <laughs> I hope you like piggies. Just saying. Yes, it has to be that one. Oh no, it has to be that one. I've changed my mind instantly. Best Poogie outfit confirmed. <laughs> Thomas, Thomas was the one that named and claimed the Black Diablos. Hades, my child, please don't forget me. Thank you for reminding me, Thomas. You've claimed so many, I couldn't remember who it was. So yeah, uh, Black Diablos was named and claimed by Thomas. Oh god, this one's a good one as well. Oh, well since since it's October, I think this is fitting really. It's gonna have to be a, this outfit since we're, we're coming up to Halloween soon. <laughs> it makes sense really. Yes. Oink, oink, wee! <laughs> Let's go. Uh, actually, while I'm here, I'm just gonna have a quick sleep. Get my health back and stuff. Should I change Navi's outfit as well? Because I feel like we've had this mask on for quite some time. So maybe we should um, change him to look like something else. And uh, Peter says there's also a poogie with a kimono. Ooh! Isn't that like a samurai poogie? Blue mask. Oh my god! <laughs> we can cross dress Navi! <laughs> Navi has become a woman! Let's do it! Let's disrespect Navi! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it had to be done. I don't even regret it. <laughs> Renoa says, Gadget Girl Kylie, more like a geisha poogie. That'd be cool. Right, let's leave. Let's do this subclass, guys. Somewhere in the desert, there is a monster waiting to be slain. It's actually over here. Quite close. I've explored the desert a lot guys. Um, I've actually found quite a few poogies off camera in the desert. A lot of them are on top of like these tall rocks and stuff. Is it that cave? I thought it was supposed to be a silver cave.
think it might. Oh, there we go. There it is. Faye Mero says Navi actually looks pretty okay in drag. <laughs> oh, bless him. I actually feel sorry for him, but I still don't regret it though. Please see off scale. I saw a shiny there, but I was mistaken. Dragon Shadow says, May you please use Rafa in one battle? I haven't seen him or her. Yeah, I can do that. I don't mind. Uh, hang on a second. Let me switch. There we go. We'll use it in this boss fight. Victor says, I haven't bought this game yet, but you sold me into buying it, GGK. Here's hoping they sell it over here. Fingers crossed. If not, you can always buy it online. I need a drink. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. It's just flavoured water. Raspberry and green tea. Not actually that fond of this one. My favourite is lemon and lime or strawberry, I think. Right, bar off his speed if memory serves. Five damage. <laughs> Barely even tickled. Oh my god! <laughs> to be fair, it is a low rank quest, but still. Blink and you miss it. Defense speed, nice. I'll take that. Thank you very much, Goom. Famo says strawberry water I can get behind. Never had lemon and lime. Oh, lemon and lime is like a match made in heaven. It's like cookies and cream. Hot chocolate fudge cake and vanilla ice cream. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Baroff got wrecked, says Victor. Damn straight. Got owned! Right, is there actually a... Um... Hang on a second. Hang on, hang on a second. There should be um, a catavan stand somewhere near here, I think. Actually, we can just fly, fly over there, fly back to town, fly away on Rafa Airways. Myung says Rafa used fireball. It's super effective. Baroff fainted. Pokeball, go! <laughs> Is that taking it that one step too far? Am I going to get rage from the Pokemon fans now? Droopy Llama says, are you up to post game yet? No. 
No, I'm not. I'm still playing through the story, and today we're doing subquests. Dan says, laugh out loud, that was funny. <laughs> uh, Dylan says, I have to leave for work, but I will try to catch up later, and I really want this game, thanks to you, GGK. And thank you for watching, have a good day in work, and uh, I hope to see you in the comments section. It's a DLC quest, isn't it? Yeah! New outfit for Navi. Right, so last but not least is in the Dodge Snowfields. So let's go ahead and teleport there. Where's the stand gone? I've lost the st There we go. <laughs> I've lost the stand! And Angui says that outfit is interesting. Well, that's ominous. Right, I think it's this way, isn't it? I can fly anyway, so. This is the beauty of the flying ability. Oh, Golden Cave! We're going in. Because I would like a better Zamtrios than the one I've got. So we're looking for a Zamtrios in here, guys. GG Music says, Teleport! Whoop whoop! Teleportation! For the nation! Blip bloop! Blip bloop! Compute, compute! <laughs> I'm a freaking weirdo sometimes. Straight for the egg. Straight for the prize. In fact, this is the wrong way, but you know. <laughs> Ganked! I don't know why they're attacking me. They're going to get slaughtered. Oh, sugar, I need to use the hot mist, don't I? I forgot. Too used to playing a prowler. Prowlers don't need no hot drinks or cold drinks. <laughs> Look at me, I'm, I'm freezing my titties off now. So cold! Blue nips confirmed. <laughs> uh, Tar64 Gaming says, Are you English, Kylie? I am indeed! I am from England, where we sip tea and eat crumpets. <laughs> Although my accent isn't really that English, it's kind of like a mashup. A mashup of Scouse, Welsh, and English. That one just lost interest. How rude! 
Bay Merif on the hashtag hype, hashtag gank life, and hashtag it's not a GGK stream without gank or holes. <laughs> so true, so true. We've got another hole here. Let's go inside. Let's slip one in. Grey Naga says, Kylie, love your videos. Thank you so much. Oh yes, hot mist. Thank you. Thank you, Thomas. Without you, I would freeze to death. There we go. Right, Zamtrio Sag is what I want. What is that? That is a Tigrex. It's eggy, but it's normal. Can't remember what the Zamtrio Sags look like now. What is that one? That is a Tigrex again. It's faint smell and it's quite heavy. Right, let me find Zamtrios on this list. Oh, Zamtrios has the vertical short stripes, not full stripes. Doesn't smell of anything, it's boring and it's normal. That's a Zamtrios, but it's shite. Give me a better Zamtrios game. That is another Tigrex. It's quite heavy though. It's boring. Why, why is it I'm getting better eggs for Tigrex, which is a higher rank monster and a rarer monster versus a Zamtrios? Smelly for sure and it's normal. This is a red kazoo, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Ah, oh, speak of the devil. Doesn't smell of anything, it's normal. God damn it. The eggs are all gone. I'm gonna have to take this one. Ah, oh, game! Bye bye! You ugly phallic red thing. Tar64 says, Gadget Girl Kylie, laugh out loud, I'm from England, but you're doing so much voices it's kind of hard to see if you are English. By the way, I'm from Old Berkshire. Well, hello there. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. I'd say the majority of my audience is, uh, hang on, is that a golden cave? Is that a golden cave that I just caught a glimpse of? Oh, it is. Gold! Always go for gold! Can I land here? Apparently not. Me? I think I can land if I... There we go. Yeah, it's always nice to um, find out someone is from England because the majority of my audience is usually from America. I've got quite a lot of people from Germany as well, which is cool. Dragon Shadow says, are you ever going to do a meet-up anywhere by Lancaster, England? I don't know. <laughs> I've never done a meet-up before and I have really bad anxiety, so I don't know how well that would go. I mean, I may come across as confident on these streams, but I'm really not. I'm particularly bad and anxious around new people, so I would like to do a meet-up one day, but I don't know where it would be. It'd probably be in England, obviously, first of all, since I live in England and uh, I definitely don't make enough from YouTube to be travelling to America or anything like that. Right, give me a Zamtrio egg, please. It's also boring. Myung says, I'm Korean living in America with citizenship. That's cool. And Cookie Lols says, hello, Kylie. I'm from England, but I live in Dubai. Also, I love you, Kylie. Love you, Cookie. <laughs> I'm not sure what this one is. It's yellow with like pink stripes. That's a kezu. That 
is a red kazoo. And why is that one? That's green with blue stripes. Green with blue. That is a tiger X again. It's boring though. They're like 100% normal and crap. It's stinky, but it's normal. Christ on a bicycle. Game. Why you no like me? Why you give me bad egg? <laughs> Don't forget, Renoa, some of the eggs are pretty similar in colour. This is, this is definitely a kazoo because it's a pale pink. Is it a kazoo? Hang on a second, am I getting confused? Yeah, the pink raffian is a darker pink and then red stripes. And the diablos is like a pale pink with like orangey pink stripes. Like some of them, honestly, are so similar in colours and patterns. It's really hard to tell what they are sometimes. I could I could do the paintball method and try and get a Zantrios uh, egg. I bet a Zantrios egg here. Um... What armour am I wearing right now? I'm still wearing the Raffian armour, the pink Raffian armour, and... Oh, shine the light! I have zero paintballs, never mind. <laughs> well, that rules that out. <laughs> I could try it without paintballs, but I can't be asked. So, yeah, let's move on. Could go back and buy some paintballs and then come back, but, you know. I'll do that off-camera. I'll try and get a better Zantrios off-camera, I think. I have zero patience. <laughs> yeah, Sky Knight says, Pulsing means it's a Thunder Egg. So it's a Kezu. So I was right, it was a kezu then. Because it's like... I feel like they should have done more variety with the eggs because some of them just look so similar. And then in caves like the volcano caves in particular where the lighting is just awful, it's hard to figure out what egg you're actually picking up. Oh, Anguish says... Lower rarity monsters generally don't have genes, good genes or slots available. Stims can help get around it, but you probably won't find a much better one, unfortunately. Really? That's crap. Even from like high rank caves, can you not get like a, a really heavy, stinky Zamtrios egg or something? That kind of seems, un that's annoying. It's like, you know, I might want to use a Zamtrios. I like Zamtrios. I mean, Zamtrios will get replaced in the end by, um, by Baryoff, because I prefer Baryoff, but, uh, still. You know, I'd, I'd like a Zamtrios, a powerful one, because my one has got quite a lot of locked gene slots. I think I do have one stim that I can open a slot with, though, now. But, um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to use it on my Zamtrios because I was kind of like, maybe I can get a better one. Right, I'm going to go ahead and switch Rafa to Elsie because Tigrex is power. And Elsie is obviously speed. Speed, give me what I need! Dope Doggy says heavy eggs tend to only start happening when you're post game or as far as I've found. I get heavy eggs at the moment. I've been getting heavy eggs since near the start of the game actually. It just takes a lot of patience. But you can get them. I got a really good Zenogre egg. Didn't I guys? It only has like two lock slots and that's it. <laughs> Oh god, I'm getting the HDMI hang issue again. 
Yay! My screen is now going to flash black on occasion. Which is not good. <laughs> Anthony says the rarity is based on stats and Zamtrios is pretty mare, unfortunately. Boo! <laughs> boo game! Boo! Famo says flashbacks to the volcano area where the shite lighting made it difficult to see the eggs. <laughs> Rafiki, level 47, wyvern stone, yes please. I've got loads of wyvern stones now. I've got all the stones! So much stones. <laughs> That's an Aptonoff, or whatever, an Apsaros. Something shit. <laughs> I know that pattern anywhere. Fuck me. <laughs> oh well, I'm taking this one. Felnarf says, I've signed up to TAD. It's a good way to support creators when you can't afford to donate. It really is, guys. It's a free application that you can download on your tablet or phone. You use it to watch adverts. In fact, I actually use it when I'm watching movies or anime. I have my tablet on next to me. I put it on mute and I just keep playing adverts over and over again without even watching them. And then you generate tads and then you can donate them to your favourite content creators. You can actually earn a creator 500 tads a day. And if you do that every single day for an entire month, it roughly equals like a $15 donation. So it's pretty darn good, guys. It does melt off. And uh, honestly, like, it's a really great way to support. If you want to, that is. <laughs> Not everybody does want to uh, take the time to do that, so it is appreciated if any of you do decide to go along that option. Or path, should I say. Kylie, learn to speak English good. Alright, let's return to the village. Right, okay, so let's go ahead and hatch these eggs. Most of them are crap. This will be a kezu. This is a red kezu, isn't it? Yep, red kezu. I actually need some thunder moves to use for jeans, so... That's not too bad. Tigrex! Oh, it's got um, predatory. Probably predatory medium, actually. Crappy bulldrome. <laughs> I'll probably get rid of that. Drew says, did my stream tip go through? No, it hasn't gone through. I get a notification and it pops up on my graphics, so it hasn't worked. Maybe wait like a couple of minutes or something and see if it pops up. But usually it's instant. Right, let's cash this bad boy in. DLC? Did I do the... What? Oh, there we go. It was a DLC quest. I get confused. <laughs> I've picked up so many, I can't remember. But honestly, the DLC quests, I would say, are better to do for money. Especially that Raffalos one. That's 3,200 per kill. That's pretty darn high. I can't do Molten Tigrex because it's such a high level. And I think we've done... Oh, hang on a second. We have got some others that have been accepted. What's this? Slate and Nisilla. 
Haven't I already done this before? No, I haven't. I'm just checking which ones I've already done and may have picked up again. Right, Slayer Diablo. So we have got a couple of ones we can still do, guys. And then we've completed all of the quests, basically, at the moment. Other than ones I have to go back around the towns for, which we will do after doing these two. Um... So yeah, it's been quite a nice chill, a chill stream doing subquests, guys. Slayer Kurapako, that's any Kurapako. Uh, Slayer Nisilla, which is located in the Babda Rainforest. Well, hang on a second. Before I forget, I need to buy some paintballs, don't I? Can I combine any, or do I not have the materials? No! Run out, I'll buy them. I've got loads of money. It's fine. As you all said, I just beat a molten tigrex. It was one hell of a fight. I have that to look forward to. I'm so excited. I can't wait. This is the thing guys, like even when we finish the story of the game, there's still loads more to do, like challenges and quests and stuff like that, so as long as this keeps getting support, I will continue this series and even do the extra stuff after we've beaten the story. Because I'm just really having a great time on this game. Oh, do they not- oh, she doesn't actually sell paintballs here, I have to get them from Gildegaran then. Um, there's a side quest available! Let's have a look. A quite heavy leviathan egg. Oh, and I get two finding charms! That is so worth it. Finding charms are the charms that increase the rare dens, guys. In case you're wondering. GG Music says, well, I gotta go. Late is GGK and GGK Lings. <laughs> That's cute, actually. Although I do call my viewers Team GGK. And my sponsors on YouTube are my yummy cookies. My yummy cookie sponsors. Ace Blackheart says my new 3DS got the black screen of death. I didn't know that's actually a thing for a 3DS. So I went back to the store and exchanged it for a brand new one and all my Monster Hunter data was deleted. I was just about to go look for the white egg. Oh my god, really? That's shit. Yeah, because when I figured out that I couldn't use um, the scanner with this 3DS XL, because don't forget the 3DS XL doesn't have the inbuilt scanning in the bottom screen like the new 3DS does. So I had to buy a separate um, reader and I totally forgot that my modification removes the, um, the ability to scan with the reader so I wasn't able to scan my amiibo and because the Monster Hunter Stories game saves on uh, it doesn't save on the cart does it? It saves on the memory card so I wasn't able to like I would have had to have done like a full system transfer basically if I wanted to scan my amiibo and then transfer it back but it was just too much of a ball ache. I decided against it to be honest. And I didn't have another spare 3DS to do that so it would have cost me quite a lot of money to buy like a second 3DS just to do a transfer, scan the amiibo and then transfer it all back. It would have been a ball ache so I just left it in the end. Let me just check everywhere in this town and see if there's any other people that have quests. Nope. Yeah, the data is on the SD card but you can't take the SD card out and put it in another 3DS. It's tied to that system. Once you've used it in that system it's linked to it. So you can't just like remove it and put it into a different one. You have to do a full system transfer. 
And uh, Ace Blackheart says the black screen of death is when it gets stuck in a forever sleep mode even if you turn it off and turn it back on. Damn. But now it says you can get a scanner, I think. I did that. Basically, the modification is plugged in here and it's removed the little sensor that hooks up to the standalone um, amiibo reader. So I can't, I can't scan them whatsoever. It doesn't work because there's no sensor in this system to even link up to the reader. That's what I mean. <laughs> A lot of people got confused when I was explaining it the first time and it seems like people are getting confused now but I cannot scan them, trust me. I don't have the ability because my modification has removed it. So it's not an option for me, sadly. So I have the pretty amiibo, that's good enough for me, I just can't get them in my game. Which sucks but that's the way it is. Right, so let's slay this Nacilla, which is in the Babda Rainforest. Is this any Nacilla? Or is this a special one? Just says slay a Nacilla. Yeah, I think it's any Nacilla, so... Is there a Nacilla running around in here, or should I use Kurapeka Call? Might be easier to just use the Kurapeka Call, to be honest, and slay it. Can anyone remember if there's a Nacilla running around in this forest? Or should I just use Kurapeko? I think that's probably easiest. Thank you so much to every single person coming to this stream and watching. Don't forget to sub and join Team GGK today. Massive Monster Hunter fan, obviously doing a full series of this game and post-game stuff as well as long as it gets support plus Monster Hunter World and I'm going to be going back to some of the other Monster Hunter games as well. Yes there is, there is, okay. If there's one running round then we'll just find it because I can't be asked going back and getting Kurapeko to do this so. Plus we can gather stuff along the way I guess. We have another stream legend, Thomas. Oh my God. You have been going crazy today with the support, buddy. Thank you so much. Don't push yourself though, okay? Sending you some love, Thomas. You are a massive supporter of my channel. Thank you so much, everyone. Hashtag Thomas is awesome in the chat. Have to leave for work. Awesome stream today, Kylie. Thank you so much, Thomas. Oh, you're so nice to me. I don't know what I've done to deserve you, but thank you. <laughs> That's really awesome. So close to the uh, current goal, actually. We've only got like, we're three hundred and eighty dollars seventy-eight out of four hundred. So we're really, really close. Oh, I didn't mean to jump the slag off. I don't have Cuphead yet. I keep getting people telling me to play Cuphead, but I was kind of like, yeah. I'm enjoying playing Monster Hunter stories and I don't want to get stressed. <laughs> so I decided not to. Yeah, Drew, um, Drew, you're saying that you've donated but it hasn't worked because I haven't had any update or notification or email or anything like that. So it's not gone through, bud. But thank you for trying, nonetheless. I'm gonna own these slags. I'm gonna own these slags! Oh my god, seriously. <laughs> if I ever got the black screen of death on this 3DS, I would cry. Because this is not cheap, this is a modded Nintendo 3DS XL. It's 
so I would cry <laughs> if it if it died on me. Greenfire says, do you think GGK will do well playing Cup Cuphead? Oh, that is the loaded question, isn't it? Probably not. I don't have much patience. But I played Dark Souls. Dark Souls, Neo, Monster Hunter, I don't know. I could do well. But I could also suck. <laughs> it could go either way, I guess. Alright, that's a Gypserios. Not interest. Oh my god, it's quite fast. It's been a while, Gypserios. It's been a while. Brainaga says, Kylie, can I send you a link on Twitter? You can DM it me on Twitter or tweet at me. It's totally up to you. Myung says, go deeper into the area. Ooh la la. I'm not ready for that, Myung. <laughs> Off says, gotta go take her to dinner first. Exactly. I'm a classy bird. Sometimes. <laughs> I'm not gonna bother going to that nest, guys. I don't want a gypsy. Well, I don't know. There is a poison move that I could use, but... Should I go to the nest or should I not go to the nest? That is the question. Uh, yeah, you are Viking. I'm so sorry if I said your name wrong. Um, how do I go to the area for the opponent egg? Because PvP isn't available for me yet. You just need to progress the story until you build that area and then you can access it. So just be patient, just play through the story a little bit more, do the quest to uh, build the arena and then you should be ready. In fact, I am going to go get this egg, guys. Got myself a bone! And it's a large bone. Ladylike. Off says, I like the loading screens, they are very pretty. I'm actually surprised that it's not a map because on the other Monster Hunter games, it's usually a map on the loading screens. Best Kanoichi says, I've got to go now, Kylie. Won't be too long. Hopefully, I can be back before the stream ends. All right, bud, thank you so much for that donation earlier for being a stream legend. Oh, what did that say? I totally missed it. Did that say it was quite heavy, guys, and it smells? If so, I'll keep it. I missed it. I'll get a whiff of this one. It's smelly for sure, and it's quite heavy, right? Okay, I caught it. I caught it on my stream. That's good enough for me. I'll take it. Dragon Shadow says the stream just got sexual. <laughs> it did. Sometimes, sometimes it does. You know, you never know. <laughs> oh my god. Getting ganked by Gypserios again. You know, that looks like it's stabbing me in the eye. 
I've just noticed that now. I just got stabbed in the eye by its pointy ass. Christ. It's got to be painful. Thank God I'm wearing my helmet today. <laughs> Otherwise, there goes Kylie's eyeball. You just see my eye stick to, stick into its spiky ass when it flies by. And I'm there just like holding my face. Monster Hunter gone wild! Dead. Moonlight Bambi says, I'm such a lurker. Hey. I appreciate the lurkers still. I mean, being active in the chat does actually help the video after because YouTube counts the comments from a live stream and comments actually help with search rankings and promoting the video. But if you want to lurk, that's completely fine. That's up to you. Yes, there's a Nasilla. Right, before I forget, let me use an antidote though. Should you use a normal herb actually? Hang on a second, Nisilla is power tech speed. Yeah, that's right, so power beats tech. Fame Harris says now the stream got violent and gory. <laughs> Someone needs to draw me, right, because if anyone's an artist and you're watching this, you need to draw me with an eyeball missing and it's stuck on the ass of that. What was it? Was it... Is it... It wasn't a Vespoid, was it? I can't remember what it was. I'll have to look up what it was. Um, but yeah, like, draw me, like, with blood coming down. It's Halloween. It's October. It's fine. Draw my hunter in the raffian, pink raffian armor. With an eye missing, with blood dripping down, my hand holding it, holding my face, and then that bug just like next to me with the eyeball on its on its spiky ass. Someone needs to draw it. <laughs> That'd be amazing. It has to happen now. get killed really really fast. Molly says that would be cool to see. It would! It so would. Get wrecked. Right that should be that quest complete now guys. Didn't say anything. I thought we were supposed to kill a Nisilla. Or maybe it will now, actually, won't it? Yay, there we go. Trapped in the web. Target reached. Okay, so now we just actually need a Catavan. It's probably quicker to just go back the way we came. If we can actually get back the way we came, I'm not so sure. Motley says, I can't do um, drawing too well, but I can try. Anyone's welcome to try. I just think it'll be funny. <laughs> Oops. Uh, Ivy Climb. Ooh, hello. Defense Nutriments. I've been calling them nutrients all this time, but they're called nutriments. Nutriments, there we go. Get there in the end, Kylie.
Use a ticket. What? There's tickets I can use? What do you mean? Does that call the catavan stand wherever you are, does it? How have I not known about this? <laughs> All this time. I don't know where it will be. If I have tickets. Oh my god, I have so many of these. Contains the recipe for dragon resistance bead and draconic bead. Ooh. I don't know what you mean by use a ticket. I have no idea. Is it in key items maybe? I don't know. Oh! Almost fell off the edge! I ended up going back the way I can't come now. Fuck. <laughs> Oops! Oh my god! How can you fail to run away from a slight off and a Vespoid? Oh, so it was a Vespoid, guys. Uh, that's the uh, monster, the monster even. Uh, Molly says poor pass ticket is in the bag icon area. In terms, it can take you out of there. Oh, oh! I didn't know that. All this time I've had them and I didn't know about it. Really? <laughs> oh well! I've got loads now. I've got a really itchy chin today. I think I've been bitten. Might have been a spider because I saw a spider on the wall last night. Did you know guys that apparently when you sleep I can't remember how many it is, but you eat like many, many spiders throughout the year when you're asleep. Because they like to crawl into nostrils and mouths. So there you go. That's some nice information for you. <laughs> Enjoy. Right, so the last one is Slayer Diablos, which is just any Diablos, uh, which is in near Tressy Salt Caves. Or is it any Di- No, it just says Slayer Diablos. Um, okay. Anthony says, laugh out loud, I'm in the tower and even I didn't know about the tickets. <laughs> At least I'm not the only one, that's made me feel a little bit better, to be honest. Right, isn't there a Diablos wandering around this desert somewhere? Oh, just got ganked. I 
I don't even know why they bother attacking me because they're just gonna die really really fast anyway. So close to the 150 like goal guys, can we get a like surge? Every single like matters, every single like shows support guys. Your eye says this stream should be called the Gank Life episode. I think it would be faster to just go and get Kurapako, to be honest. Um, or maybe fly around and see if we can find a Diablos running around somewhere. I'm pretty sure there is one. I don't know where it is. Thank you for the sub, Luis. Luis? Luis? I think. San Tino. Thank you for joining Team GGK. Because this isn't any particular Diablos. This is just any. Any Diablos. I think. Isn't there one like down here somewhere? Maybe I'm getting mixed up, I don't know. Might be better to just run on the ground and then I can actually see it. Because that's one definite problem I find with flying around the desert area is the camera angle is just awful to look down and see what's available on the ground. Uh, Molly says there should be a one on the other side of the map, normally around the quicksand areas. Thank you for that information, Mutley. So I'm going the right way now, aren't I? I think. <laughs> I have no sense of direction, so... Probably going the wrong way. And the map is not making it easier. That's a... Cephedrome? Or it might be a normal Cephalos. There's a quicksand hole. There we go, there's the swirlies. That is a hermitor. not landed up here before actually. I wonder if there's a poogie. Poogie! Oh! Dragon crystal! Yeah! Yeah boy! And there's no poogie here sadly. Shrouded Nisilla has appeared, but no Diablos. Where are you, Diablos? Why are you no like me? There might be one around. So there's another swirly thing over here, another quicksand area. Nope. I think it'd just be quicker to go back and get Kurapako and use the call. 
to be honest. Dragon Shadow says, still haven't seen a shrouded Nisilla. I take it you haven't watched this series from the beginning because I have, I used a regular Nisilla in my team that was called, called Ursula and then I also have a shrouded Nisilla called Spooderman which I have used in my team as well. Hey, J Silp, welcome to the stream. Still don't see it. <laughs> I remember the one being near this catavan stand. I don't know why. Maybe I'm wrong. That might have been a hermitor, actually. Still no Diablos. <laughs> the moment you want to kill a monster is the moment it doesn't appear. It was somewhere else. We found it, guys. Diablo's hype. Give the stream a like. Finally. Right, so it's power, so really we should go to speed. So Elsie is getting more screen time. I need one more slot open on Elsie and I've got the perfect monster to move a gene over because it um it increases the likelihood of poison, I think, or it like extends poison, I can't remember which it is, but that's the that's the gene that I want over. It's like it's up by large as well, so it's not a medium, it's actually a large. So I've saved that monster ready for when that last slot is opened up on Elsie. And then there's a couple of other moves that I just need to upgrade to the large versions as well. And then she is basically perfect. She's exactly how I want her. We did it, guys! 150 like hype! Whoop, whoop, whoop! Team GGK is awesome! Thank you so much, guys. The support on this series has been amazing. I really, really appreciate it. I love this game. And I'm having an absolutely fantastic time playing this for you guys and chatting with you guys as well. So every single like does matter guys. So if you haven't pressed it, don't forget to click it now. And everyone hashtag 150 like hype in the chat. You guys are rocking it with the support today. That is greatly appreciated. I'm going to go ahead and change it to the next like goal, which is a bit of a jump, which is 200. We should always keep aiming higher and higher guys because it is supporting the series. Right, let's go ahead and use Poison Spike again. Grey Naga says I'm drawing a Lagaipress. Ooh, cool! Lagai is my favourite monster, or one of my favourite monsters anyway. Which is why I'm particularly annoyed that I don't have one yet. <laughs> I seem to have the worst luck in getting one as well. Right, let's beat it while it's down, Elsie. Teamwork for the win. Hey, 
Sky Knight, welcome back to the stream. Oh my god, get owned. Sweet, that's done now. I'm too lazy. Now that I know that I can fast travel, <laughs> I'm going to be using this a lot. <laughs> uh, Best Kunoichi she says, I found a Lagaikris in the beach area where the cats are. I farmed golden caves in that area for two hours straight with two tickets and I couldn't get a single lag eye or ivory lag eye so I'm assuming that I need to be further in the game to actually get it because uh, it just will not give me one no matter what. Same with Raffalos and Azure Raffalos actually but um, I think Drew, Drew is in the chat now but Drew actually said that once I've done the Raffalos DLC quest which is what we did on this stream I should be able to get a regular Raffalos and maybe as your Raffalos now as well, but I'll probably just farm for those off camera um, because I've promised one of my biggest Patreon supporters that I will name our Raffalos after him, so it's going to be called Guardian. So I'm probably going to name a as your Raffalos Guardian, to be honest. I'm quite tempted to turn that into ice and have an ice raffalos. I know I've already got one via DLC, but because it's blue, it just makes sense for it to be ice. Or maybe even water, have a water raffalos and it's blue and it's called Guardian. <laughs> that would be cool. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Thank you so much for joining the stream, Jason. Take it easy, bud. Azure says, I found a better healer than Kurapako. Is it Aptonoff? Apparently Aptonoff's supposed to be a good healer, but... I imagine literally no one has an Aptonoff still in their team. I'll be shocked if someone's like completed their game using an Aptonoff in their team for the entirety of the game. Anthony says lightning as your Raffalos is great. Yeah, but I already have so many monsters that I actually like that are lightning, so I'm a bit OCD. I don't want to have multiple of the same element in my team. It actually bothers me that I have Elsie that's fire and also Rafa that's fire in my team right now. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to get balanced in elements really for my team at the moment. Right now in my team I have my Gawooga Wooga which is Dragon which is really really good actually I'm pretty happy with Gawooga Wooga. We have Rafiki who is Lightning, we have Rafa who is Fire, Elsie who is also Fire, Chris who is Ice which I really want to replace because he's not very strong and uh, also Eris which is just normal element, well no element basically it's just as it is. Anthony says change the Rafa to dragon. No, I am not changing it. It's got good genes. I'm not I'm not messing that up right now It's got decent genes. Some of them could be better, but I'm pretty happy with uh, the build of this Rafa at the moment to be honest If I was gonna do that, I would just get a new Raffalos and change that one Uh, Gummy Gubra says, I know how that feels. I have a lot of good monsters that are mostly fire. Same, like the majority of my monsters now, I feel like a lightning or fire. And I have just way too many, to be honest. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it really is ridiculous. Right, what else have we got then? Right, so we need to go to the Hunter's Guild and turn these in. So let's go and do that. And while we're there, at Guild of Garan, I need to buy paintballs, guys, because I can't make any and I've run out.
Myung says, go team GGK. Thank you, Myung. Alright, let's buy... Let's go with like... Let's just get 30 because then they're going to last me a while then. I don't have to worry about them for quite some time. Smoke bombs, I've got 23 so I don't need any more of those. I don't even use, like does anyone else bother to use a whetstone? Because I never use it in this game. Best Konoichi says we need some good water ice and dragon creatures in the next Monster Hunter stories if they make it. They best had to do a follow up to this game because I love it. It needs a follow up. I don't even know if it's sold well enough to do one though is the thing. Oop, hang on a second. That's the wrong way. It's this way, isn't it? This way to the guild hall! Hello Monster Hunter! We have Monster Hunterception! <laughs> Welcome to the stream! I love all these armor sets that are displayed along here, they're so freaking cool. I want a Raffalo set! Five thousand! It's a lot of zenny! Toro Kami says, Monster Hunter Stories 2 for the Switch, wouldn't that be awesome? I actually heard a rumour that they are thinking of porting Monster Hunter Stories to the Switch, but I don't think there's any credibility behind that rumour. Um, I would have loved it to have come to the Switch as well, because I would have bought both versions. <laughs> I would love to be playing it on the Switch. I mean, it looks great on the 3DS and all, but imagine how nice it would look on the Switch. Um, but yeah, I'd totally be up for a sequel coming out to the 3DS and the Switch. Five thousand five hundred, nice. It's a lot of moolah. A lot of coinage. I'm kind of waiting to buy the Monster Hunter anime, you know, Monster Hunter Ride On. Um I'm waiting for it to come out like dubbed and on Blu-ray and then I'll just buy it and watch it all from the beginning but I don't want to watch it until after I've defeated the story of this game because I've been told it can be quite spoilery for this game so I'm just kind of waiting to be honest um I can't remember what I was gonna do now uh yeah I was gonna go to the smithy that's it and check out armors and stuff and see if I can upgrade or get any new armor it's been a while I did get that other new armor set though off camera, which I was wearing at the start of this episode, which is the Garuga armor. It's so cool. Let's put that back on. All right, let's check out the upgrade options. Oops. I've got the Ignator armor. I just haven't worn it like ever. <laughs> I've got. So many different armor sets. I kind of want to collect them all because they all look so cool. There we go. I can actually upgrade the Garug armor, so let's go ahead. So it's at the third rank now, so it's on 62 defense. I would say this is my strongest armor right now then. I 
I need more Ash Catcher Watcher and also mid grade Borg to upgrade my hero's clothes. Uh, I need to do the PvE offline arena to get some bronze tickets and silver tickets to upgrade the black belt armor, which is really good armor, guys, because it has negate, one hit KO, critical eye medium, and also evasion large as well. So that is a pretty darn decent armor. Alright. Can I actually upgrade this? I should be able to. Nagakuga. I need a regular Nagakuga. I haven't even found one yet, guys. I don't have an egg for a regular Nagakuga. I've, I've hatched the green Naga on the last episode, uh, which Drew named and claimed and called it Surge, but we don't have a regular Naga right now. Famer says, well, I think I might actually go and get food now. I'm super hungry. Maybe I'll be back before the stream ends. Thank you so much, Faye Merif, and I shall see you later. Hello, Stormkiller! Good to see you again. I'm probably going to be wrapping this stream up soon, actually. Um, I've been streaming for like 2 hours 43 minutes, so I need a rest. <laughs> My throat is destroyed now. Thank you for the sub, Haru. Welcome to Team GGK. But yeah, like, I've got so many different armors. I love this armor. This is still one of my favorite armors, like looks wise. You just look so fancy. <laughs> fancy pants. Uh, Gummy Gudra says it's weird you find a green Naga before a regular one. I've been told that the regular Naga Cougar is pretty rare. So, yeah, I might have to do a bit of uh, off camera grinding to get it, I guess. Well, we upgraded our current armor a little bit. That's something, I guess. Better than nothing, isn't it, guys? Ace Blackheart says, I really hope they bring in a Cantor and Ukanlos as, like, maybe hidden bosses. I would love to ride on both of them. That would be cool. I still want Ignatol, to be honest. <laughs> and Ice Ignatol. Uh, Felnarf, the cap is 500 tads per creator, so you're capped out basically. That's when you can donate them to a creator, and uh, you can only donate 500 a day per creator. Oh, Toro Kami says you haven't reached the point where regular Nagakuga shows up. Is regular Nagakuga stronger than green Nagakuga then? Because that makes not much sense if you can get green first and it's more powerful than regular. I suppose the reason behind that is because of the storyline Nagakuga though, I guess. Right, anyways guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and stop this stream here because we've streamed for like 2 hours 45 minutes, which is quite a long time. A massive, massive thank you for joining me on this series, guys. I am just having the best time ever and it wouldn't be as fun without you guys tuning in and chatting with me when I'm playing and yeah I'm just so grateful for you guys so thank you so much massive thank you to all of the stream legends for your support as well that obviously directly supports my channel and uh, anyone that donated on the stream obviously I'll train up those monsters and we will get some screen time with them on the next episode as long as I can use them in my team because I think some of them I need to progress the story a little bit more and uh, obviously rank up my kinship so for those ones you may have to wait a little bit but for the other ones I will make sure that they do get some screen time but anyways guys thank you so much for being awesome don't forget if you want to support my channel check out the links in the video description to patreon stream tip and also sponsorship as well all of those things are direct methods to support my channel and make sure you follow me on twitter and stay tuned to my main channel page by clicking on my name and checking out the upcoming live stream section so that you don't miss out on any streams in the future but anyways guys thank you so much take it easy and i shall see you next time guys